Hey everyone, welcome to Sketch A Day Live. <clears throat> it is Monday, July 5th in the United States. A lot of people have today off as it was Independence Day yesterday. I live in a weird place though. We celebrated on Saturday. So, anyhow, hope you're doing well. Um, we had a two week sketch challenge. I was scarce, I will admit. Um, sorry, I'm doing two things at once, but we did have an opportunity to sketch things related to flight, which is pretty fun. So hopefully you were able to get some sketches in as well. I'm going to be using my, hey, Lynette, what's up? Hello, Max, Mystery, Vivek, Trey Lynn, what's up, what's up? Um, so I'm going to switch over to the iPad here. And let's take a look at some of your work, not my work, your work on the Discord. All right, weekly sketch challenge. Here we go. We had two weeks, so let's see, see what we had here. We had a bunch of stuff. Oh, wow. I definitely missed out a lot. All right. So like I said, the theme was flight. All right, I'll kick things off with this little spaceship sketch here. We have mystery. With darts. I guess technically that works. Mystery asked me to sketch with pencil last time, but I don't do a lot of pencil stuff these days. Um, just kind of kind of messes with my flow. So, But nice work with the pencil. That's my mystery. Some attention to detail there. Construction lines. Really nice. Nice job. Thank you. Can you find the songs on the website? No, these are songs created specifically for my YouTube show. So, hey, NYC Everything, what's up? Good afternoon to you, too. Hello, hello, NYC Everything. Show them some love. Check out their YouTube channel. I think my eyes are getting worse. Uh, what's up, Saman? Saman Salmon. Not sure how to pronounce your name ever. Apologies if I butchered it. Um, added some marker there to that one. Ooh, these are cool. Got some eagles. Or Falcons? I'm not sure. Very cool sketch by Mystery. Love the gesture there. Um, really, really nice work. Intensity in the eyes. It's pretty awesome. Oh, there's more on top. Let's see. Did I forget some? Well, looks like we have Paul. All right, Paul with a dart sketch as well. Shout out to Paul. Paramesh. Oh, okay. I thought, I wasn't sure those were... Uh, um, flight related, but sounds like inspired or took some inspiration from birds for the word flight for these shapes. <clears throat> some nice work there. Got Horvish with kite. Man, I never, I never had the experience as a kid, um, really flying a kite. Like it's not something we ever did really. So <laughs> this is cool though. It's cool to see. Thank you. Concord, I remember those. Did you ever have a chance to fly on one? I never did. Those are really interesting. Really interesting planes. Let's see. We've got a, looks like a flying broom. Or a witch's broom. Is this from Harry Potter? Looks like something Harry Potter related. Nice work. I always love seeing the creative ideas y'all come up with. Magic broom upgrade. Ooh, and render and modeled in 3D. Bonus points for you, mystery. Hey, Applejacks. What's up? How's it going? Got a dragonfly here by Michael Skarn. You know, the wings on this thing, I've, I've sketched dragonflies before. This is like, this takes patience, I will say. That takes patience, so props to you for that. Okay, this was done. Can't really see this one very well. I think it's a um, PNG file or something, but done quickly on Intuos Pro Medium Paper Edition. This could have been cool. A bat jet. I wonder if, wonder if uh, Computer Gerb finished that one out. Lions with a dragon. It does count as flight. Is it gonna be a tattoo? This we'll never know unless Lion shows up. And Tom with a spaceship sketch. Some nice work. 
there. Let's check into the show your work channel and see what's popping. Hey, Jordan. Very cool. Quick paint of a bar in town. Got some sticker designs, looks like. Yep. Very cool. <laughs> Little wasp there. Dragonfly again. See, stuff like this, these are really good exercises. I'm glad Parmesh is doing these. Um, these are really good exercises to kind of get used to um, drawing more complex things. You can draw simple shapes, combine them, figure out the intersections and so forth. Um, really great way to do that. Really great way to learn. This song is... I bells from a forest found a way to drink milkshake milkshakes. <laughs> Some of these songs have the funniest names. This one's called Drunk Choir. Anyhow. Great form exercises, studies, classic potato chips. Intersection of forms. So nice work there. All right, I am gonna do some digital today. And the theme this week is, come on. The theme this week is underwater. So I'm gonna be doing underwater related things. Um, I've done submarines before. I think I'm gonna kick things off with uh, just some underwater gear to start with. Since I am a product designer, I'm gonna do some product designer things. All right, so just using Procreate will warm up, warm up real quick. I'm probably gonna keep this stream a little tight as well to an hour, so. I can always catch the replay. Part of the reason too is I don't know who wants to actually watch for more than an hour. Do you wanna watch drawing for like three, four hours? Maybe if it was something in the background, I guess. I don't know. Seems like a long time. But I could be wrong. Lines, circles, ellipses. That's how I like to warm up. I am using a screen protector on my iPad Pro. I need to update my website because it's a different one that I... It's a bit more like a paper-like screen protector. It's not paper-like brand, but it does have a heavier texture to it. have a lot heavier texture. I guess I could do a like a deep sea diving suit would be fun to do. Do un we could do some fish, some underwater creatures this week. Oh on Friday I will not. I guess it's turning into a trend. Um, I keep going on trips or doing things on the weekends since my kids aren't here. So on Friday I won't be doing Fan Friday. Um, so I'm gonna push that to next Monday as well. But I will be back on Wednesday for a midweek stream. Whoa. I feel like, I don't know if it's the new iPad that I have or if it's, um, I'm gonna do one more, one more set of ellipses here. I don't know if it's the new iPad or if it's my hand or if it's Procreate, but something's off with, the stylus. I may actually erase my iPad and redo it. Um, like the tilt function isn't working on my iPad right now for some reason um, when I tilt the stylus, I tilt the pencil. So the, 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 the prompt for this week is underwater. That's what we're doing, right? I'm pretty sure it was this week. Noah, don't you make music too? I do. Um, I've taken a little bit of a break, but because I have a real design project that I'm working on <laughs> and it's taking up a lot of time, that and teaching, I teach a, a how to make stuff class and I teach a, um, it's kind of like design philosophy, design therapy, design thinking class, becoming a conscious designer. 
It's called Design Discourse. So I, I teach two classes and I'm working on some design stuff in the background, planning out some future things for what I want to do with um, all of this stuff, really. So I've been busy. Yes, I'm still working on the digital guide as I can. So I've got a lot of I've got a lot of irons in the fire, so to speak. Um, I started the digital guide and then quickly realized like it's not as simple as just saying hey here's some markers and here's a little bit about markers or here's a little bit about pens or anything like that it's not it's not that simple so it's quickly turned into a much bigger thing oops so I kind of have to decide um, you know how to proceed with that redesign competitions are a good way to make stuff Yeah, I think my, I think my eyesight's getting worse. I'm getting older, everyone. I'm getting so old. All right. So, oh, pardon me. So I think I'm gonna kick things off with some goggles. Those are always fun to do. See what I mean? The palm, de the palm detection's a little bit off. Or palm rejection, I should say. Feels a little bit off. So I'm just going to block this out. Like so. And then that should give me a pretty good uh, base to work with. Goggles, and then let's have a nice little flange here, just blocked in through the face. I've actually been doing a, a wearable, not a wearable, a product that you put on your face. I'll just say that. Um, so that's what I've been working on. But, so I'm just making some room for the straps here. And this blocking out technique can be useful if you know you just want to try and get your perspective right first before you and you can kind of just you can kind of just have everything um, blocked out with straight lines first, something like that. You know, if that's your trying to trying to think about the curve here um you can kind of block things out and then when you're ready on a new layer now we can do our actual sketch um clip studio paint for sketching is that bad just use whatever works for you hey lions what's up i loved your dragon the flight went over those a little bit earlier so appreciate your your sketch Did I design goggles recently? No, I did not design goggles. I did not. All right. Did not design goggles, but I wanted to kick off our underwater theme here this week with some goggles. adjustments as we go i'm trying to figure out how to resolve i kind of like what's happening here but i need to make sense of the surfaces so probably something like this that's my guess 
you know, if there's some sort of intersection there. The nose piece. Maybe the surface could like wrap into the little nose piece here. Maybe do like a color break or something. So as I'm designing something, I try and find ways to create harmony in terms of shapes. So we've got our glass coming down like so and then out. Um, we of course be able to see um, you know, through this a bit. So I want to make sure I capture that. And I got to figure out what's happening here, right? So it's not as easy as just throwing, throwing lines, ah, lines down sometimes. You gotta like think about shapes and what's happening, inter intersection of volumes. Hopefully that makes sense, but it's a conscious thing, right? So I'm thinking maybe this lens wraps up a little bit. I guess I could have a little trim, trim here. That'd be cool. Could have some graphic. By graphic, I mean just a little line break or jog. Um, let me know if let me know if the narration is is helpful as well in terms of like thinking through a design or. Uh, composing something or if you have any questions about life the universe any of it really uh, is this online recorded it will be available for replay hey Jonas from Argentina what's up all right so I'm sketching a hard line in here but I know I'm gonna have to introduce a break when I do um, actually break this here too. When I do the straps, face straps. All right, so perspective, All right? Trying to make sure that things appear to converge at a consistent point, All right? If that's not, if that's not apparent or obvious. That's why there's a spread in the way the lines look. Come on. Okay. Hey, Joanna, what's up? <laughs> Good to see you. Fancy seeing you here. All right. I was, uh, I was telling these yahoos that I, I teach basically a design therapy class. Maybe you can tell them how you like it. I'm pretty sure it's the same Joanna. Joanna's one of my students. Yeah, I'm not super sure about this um, kind of flange piece here. If that's normally a part of goggles, I'm kind of uh, kind of guessing here a little bit. Currently studying industrial design. Teacher recommended. Oh, that's great, Jonas. So Jonas or Jonas? Joe like Jonas. Jonas Brothers. Joe Nasty. Sometimes I cheat in sketches, like right in here. I'm totally cheating. But if you know where to emphasize lines, you can always... Um, <laughs> more Spencer knowledge never hurts. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoy. Um, if, you know, if you know where to put your line weights, you can, you can do a lot, of, a lot of magic tricks when you're sketching. All right, so I kind of have my guide here, and I don't want this to feel stiff. Like, I, I kind of plotted out where I want to put things, but I don't want it to feel um, stiff. So what I'm going to do is use this as an under sketch 
And now, I really should set up, I have another camera I can set up so you can see how my hands are um, as I'm sketching. In fact, I think this one's on. Let's see. Um, let's see. You can kind of see I've got my, my hand, pardon me, under my iPad here. It just lets me kind of angle it up. There's a stand I've been trying to find, but I don't think they make it anymore. So I'm going to have to see if I can find it on eBay. Um, it's by Elevation Labs. The, it's called the Draft Table, I think. Um, anyhow, I've been trying to find it, and I cannot find it. So... Since I don't, I usually sketch sitting down, like, on my couch or in my kitchen or whatever, so it's not a huge deal um, doing this for the stream, but if I could find that, I would, or if you can find it, I would be forever in your debt. Elevation draft table. Hey, Andrew, what's up? Um, am I using an iPad Pro? Yes. I'm using the M1 iPad Pro. So that's Apple's latest iPad. So like I said, I'm trying to not be too, too stiff here or ridiculous. Okay, so I like that, that line. Um, After getting in digital art, you start appreciating watching expert. Oh, thank you. Um, I'm being, I'm admittedly being kind of lazy with this sketch. Like I'm not being as precise as I could be. Um, like when I do stuff for, for clients, I tend to be a bit more precise. I will admit. Did you actually see that? You would not see that. Okay. Maybe just a little bit there. And I want to do some sort of buckle thing. I hate drawing buckles. So what I usually do is just draw something like that. It's kind of a, a looks like type thing. So just something that is kind of squarish. That fits over the strap. And voila. So now I can turn off my under sketch. The under sketch. Let's move this around. In fact, I'm going to actually duplicate all that. Oh, interesting. Interesting. All right, let's see if I can do this again. I'm gonna delete, select group, swipe, duplicate my group. The reason for this is I like having the layers separate if possible. So I don't wanna like um, crowd the whole thing. And then I can scale this down, All right? Like so, maybe rotate, take the warp, tweak it just, just enough, like so. Take the other sketch here. Because why, why resketch it when you don't have to? I'll have to resketch it. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and resize your canvas. So in, Cro in Procreate, you can resize the um, canvas. Oops. So I can make this a little wider. And look at what's happening at the top. It tells you how many layers are available based on how big the canvas is. So I'm just using the default screen size. But that's another reason I wanted to upgrade my iPad Pro because my older iPad Pro was really kind of struggling with uh, not being able to have as many layers. And I really, really wanted to be able to yeah, bro. to have, have as many layers as I could possibly have. So that is why. All right, so I've got two sketches here now, super quick. Oh, a display tablet, nice. Are you using like a, a Wacom product? When did I stop using perspective vanishing lines? Um, I feel like I still use them. <laughs> I just don't draw them. Or do you mean like 
drawing them specifically. So here's the reason, right? I can turn off the front goggles here, but I can also work independently on this layer. I'm gonna duplicate it just so I have a backup. And now if I wanna change something about these goggles, I can do that pretty easily. Like what if, what if we change the shape here a bit on the front? So I didn't have to resketch the whole thing. And we could have some sort of At least in my head, this makes sense. What if there's some sort of light that could be, you know, maybe just a little LED light or something on these goggles to help you see a little bit better underwater, something like that. Um, and then we can change Change some other stuff here. Maybe it's the, the surface geometry or whatnot. Maybe it's the part break on the front. All sorts of things we can do. And now I have two concepts on the page. I'm gonna try and uh, I don't know if this affects visibility or not, but I'm just going to roll with it. Um, but maybe try and match some of this surface geometry so that this starts to feel um, a bit more related. So again, all those types of things I try to think about, symmetry, mirroring, balance, flow, um, because the 3D object essentially is a composition too. It's like a, a functional composition, if you will. So it's important to think about all those things as you as you're working. Maybe a couple variations in shading and finish, things like that. I'm gonna change the shape here. So you can iterate in views or you can um, sketch something from another view. Both are valid approaches. All right, so now I have two different versions here. Okay, so this one maybe has some sort of light. You can always show that in our rendering. So I'm just going to throw that, um, throw these lines out. And then I had this idea for a background element that I'll just do just some light circles of some sort. Just to kind of ground the whole thing. color these color these bad boys up uh, use it but I don't draw them very difficult for me to do yeah I don't uh, is there a reason they have layer limits yeah I'll tell you the reason just a sec Lynette. Um, yeah I, I use them meaning I, I imagine them in my head so I imagine as I'm drawing and you can kind of develop the skill or have it so I imagine you know if there's a box and I did kind of start with a box if you remember, all right, so if there's a box around this, something like this, and if I take this point, move it out, I get this kind of shape here, all right? So I've got my, my perspective system like so, all right? The more layers there are, the more Hey, Lynette to Lynette. 
exactly so um the way apple works right now is they limit um they limit the amount of ram an app an app can use to i think five gigabytes so no matter what ipad you're using the maximum ram you can use is five gigabytes and so the number of layers as far as i know if someone more technical is present feel free to to chime in but as far as i know the number of layers is uh affected by how much ram there is available so older devices have less ram available which means um means less layers if that makes sense How can you get out of creating things in a box? Just draw. Um, <laughs> another Lynette, yes. <laughs> it's the invasion of the Lynettes. All right, let's do this real quick. Uh, I'm gonna go with this. Do I always use this yellow color? I don't know. I could do yellow or green. Um, feels right. I could probably do this, this orangish color. I most definitely do not want to do clear, so I'm not going to do any sort of transparent, uh, at least for the main body. There's some things that are frosted I'll, I'll throw in. So my general approach here, just kind of outline, and we can fill. Like so start with your solids. I have to decide here is this a different material or the same material what's happening a little bit of cheating in there all right and then my glass I'm gonna do something kind of bluish new layer but I can do this behind so this will save me some trouble and I can just fill this super fast So, and then the straps. Hmm. I guess the straps will keep this kind of bluish, bluish material. I can always change it later. Um, and one of the one of the ways to do that is just by just color things in solid, because then you can change your mind later. I like changing my mind generally in my life so I guess that pools over a bit into how I color how I render something all right so nice and solid there and if you just want to do something like a tune shade you could do that if you wanted to all right let's do let's do like a frosted material for this little face portion so I'll just rough color this in. My plan is to use transparency um, and a, maybe a filter to get like a noise effect in place. Uh, this one I need to make translucent. So I'll knock the opacity back. And maybe we should put this behind. And let's set this to multiply. Just oops. I'm gonna adjust curves here. Make this a little bit darker. And then I'll just 
there's paint on the inside. So it looks like this rubbery mask material would give like a nice seal. to paint in a portion here. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't. I actually need to erase. Ah, so this is getting complicated now. So I'm going to erase some of the orange here, and I'll revisit it to make sure the orange shows through. I'll have to do some layer, layer stuff in a little bit. All right. Why did I paint and to erase? Okay. And to erase right here. So by erasing, I'm now showing that material, that glass material, showing that through. Oh, you got an M1 too. Nice. How are you liking it? liking it but yeah draw if you draw from observation and then draw from imagination it's going to help you do um, stuff like this i guess maybe i'll just do one drawing today i don't know let's see Every time I stream, <clears throat> yeah, I got the magic keyboard. I will say, for typing, it's awesome. Like, I wasn't convinced either at first, and then I got it. Holy cow, it's nice. It's really nice. I thought you were. I thought you were kind of anti Apple though. All right, so just using my crisp airbrush now, I can, sorry, and place a little shadow core there. And i kind of do the same thing over here. I just started watching an awesome show on Netflix too. And I'm sad that I waited so long to watch it. Cause it's fantastic, I think. Jupiter's Legacy. So far, so good. I just started it, so no spoilers, please. But yeah, it's it's been it's been pretty awesome. So yeah, I like this airbrush because and again, if you're a Patreon or channel member and you haven't gotten yours yet, well, I should say specifically, if you have been a Patreon for two months and you haven't gotten your brush kit, let me know, I'll hook it up. So generally speaking, I try to have my um, highlights and actually here's what I'll do. I try to have my, my highlights and shadows above all the other layers that are solid. Did I do that? I really did that, didn't I? Dum, 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 dum doing that the reason I was uh, mad at myself is I shaded on the same layer I'm gonna switch this to add and let's crank the opacity down on this and I'm gonna make a new layer same airbrush a little less blue just kind of hit that spot on the inside just like so so now I've got two nice highlight spots there. Foldable Bluetooth keyboard. I mean, that works too. That works too. Do I find myself using the keyboard and iPad? Yes, I use it a lot. Um, so one, th one thing I actually enjoy doing quite a bit of is writing. 
may not think so, but I love writing. Write my thoughts. Um, so I'm just gonna add some texture here using my banana speckle brush, the speckler. So I enjoy writing and it's just nice to be able to pop the iPad open and, and just do all that. So. All right, I'm gonna clean up sketch line here using the pencil. So I got, I've got like a really hard um, heavy line there, but then it's not right there. So I just want to make sure I get a nice transition of Christmas and heaviness. Like I can go lighter, but it just felt a little bit abrupt. Now I can even enhance the outline. I used to follow very hard and fast rules, and admittedly, when I'm teaching, I, I teach very hard and very hard rules about uh, line weight. But in my own sketching, I don't always follow them. <laughs> Hope that doesn't make me too much of a, a hypocrite. This is stuff I'm talking about that's really annoying, and I don't know if it's the app. I've done enough that it's just too hard to undo, so I just have to go in and kind of fix it. And I like those construction lines. I'm not going to completely get rid of them. Um, it's just something something that I found is if your sketch is super tight, your client will often think that the design is done already. And that's not the case. So I save the tighter stuff for later on. And sometimes we'll even use like... Um, 3D to kind of help help with that. Kind of want to lighten this up a little bit. I guess I'll, I'll add some shadow here. That's what I'll do. Yellow is really hard to work with, by the way. Yellows and oranges are really hard to kind of render. Because to go darker, you do have to sometimes go brown, or in this case, orange. Like, if I want to go darker, I'm going to be going into kind of a brown here with this marker. So, a little bit of an overpaint, and then I'll erase to clean that up. Just using the marker brush here. Uh, can you send me the brushes? Can't f oh, you can't find them. Okay. Uh, remind me, if I forget, on Patreon or... Discord, and I will send them to you. Um, or if one of the patrons has a link, they can hook you up too. Story a day. <laughs> yeah, I'm not loving. Not loving that one. I don't know her. So let's clean up a little bit. So, teaching this prototype class, like I said, and I got a question pretty early on. Are we gonna do some 3D, some 3D printing? Um, you might be wondering, what does that have to do with sketching? Well. Sketching is one of those things that can be time intensive, but also incredibly efficient if you think about it. So for me to model this in 3D would take a lot longer than to just sketch it up. Um, so right tool for the right job, right? If I'm, if I'm going into production, for example, I might um, I might jump into 
CAD at that point. That just means that I create a 3D model of the thing. Um, but if I'm just trying to evaluate and show client, you know, here's kind of the design intent, then it doesn't really make sense for me to jump right into 3D modeling. So that is why. Well, one of the reasons, I guess, that sketching can be a really powerful tool. I didn't get just want to make this a little bit darker on this side. This is that marker brush. It's a little bit darker there, so now I have a shadow. Okay, being cast. Helps add to the reality. Hey, Latrice. No worries. I was wondering where you're at, though. Wonder where you're at. Nah, it's not new music, it's the same. Um I do need to to update that, however. So thanks for the call out. Andrew. this way down I just want I want there to be some texture but not like overpoweringly so and then for final final touches okay trying to think of the easiest way to do this can I move these all at once would be nice trying to just move all these layers into my group here. Whoa, what just happened? Okay, just reordering some layers, hang tight, hang tight. Okay, boom, there we go. All right, so <laughs> for finishing touches, now I'm going to jump back to the Spencil here. Well, not finishing touches because I still got to do the band. Um, just add any, any highlights that need to be there. So, oops, come in, let me add a little shadow or reflection or something here. I think I'll go with, I think I'll go with white and just clean this up a little bit. a little bit of this too. What happened? Right. So like so, erase. Okay. Something like that. And then, like I mentioned before, I wanted to make sure that Getting a little bit of this orange color on the inside and through that glass. So I'm just going to recolor that up. Like so. Add some shadow right there. Little 
a shadow in here. Something like that. DJ Squeak. You're going to do the glass or plastic in the front. I'm not sure what you mean. Um, it's right there. Unless you mean all the way in the front. I was thinking it would be recess, but maybe I'm maybe I'm completely wrong on the construction. I'm not looking at reference, so it could totally uh <laughs> Hey good man, good to see you. <laughs> Thanks for joining. I guess I could have posted in the offsite uh, group about it. Um, yeah, I'm not looking at reference, so we'll just call these sci-fi sci goggles. This marker brush and how it turned out because um, you can you can really you know, size it up it does follow it follows the direction of your stroke which is nice all right Joanna take care we'll see you tomorrow all right let's finish this strap up Crazy, this took so long. I did not intend for this to take so long, but I figured let's just do a little render today. Um, I guess sometimes, sometimes just doing one sketch is fine, right? Did I? I did not make a new layer. Why do I keep doing this? Okay, new layer. I'm glad I caught it just now, though. You'll see why in just a sec. So now we can erase what we don't need. And even lighten things up too. Yeah, I don't have more than an hour today, so I'm gonna have to constrain it to this one sketch so well hopefully you picked up on some stuff um along the way also a tip in procreate you can use any brush as an eraser so even if you want to use like a um some sort of textured brush or anything like that. You can use that as an eraser in Procreate. Just fine. All right, this is where I start to get sloppy now because I'm trying to finish this very quickly. Just on the top of this pen. I want to give it some thickness. Are you down with the thickness? So yeah, just a nice little white line there. Should kind of give this the appearance of having some some volume to it. But yeah, if you have this brush, play with it. See what you see how you like it. <laughs> what effects techniques you can come up with? It's just how I how I like to work. Mm. 
recommend good 3D software. Um, I use Fusion 360. There's also SolidWorks. There's Rhino. There's Alias. There's NX. There's Pro Engineer. Lots of options. So the quick way I like to finish these off, um, these other sketches, is just take, I, I, I do keep a very simple tool, tool set, it's really interesting, um, but I can just use this crisp airbrush, for example. Just hit this a couple times erase what you don't need right, so as the surface changes direction for example or if there's a, a little part break I want to show maybe there's a little light catching an edge there just erase that clean up as you go it's just one way I like to work something like that for uh, a little bit of a highlight for example just enough to give this whole thing some body don't you want somebody to your sketch don't you need somebody to sketch Uh, let's see. <laughs> All right, and then just a couple final touches with this marker brush. Thanks for hanging out with me today, though. Um, I know, like I said, I've been a little bit scarce, but um, real work, real projects. <laughs> I I took a break from sketching the thing I was working on to be here on the stream, so. Felt like I wanted to hang out and I appreciate you uh, coming to hang out as well. All right, so, oh, here's an opportunity to do something cool with this light. I can actually just make this selection and see how I have this gray, oops. See how I have this gray right here, okay? Well, I'm just gonna erase through that like so. And then for the background here, if I wanna show that this is a light, as well, what I can do is take uh, like this soft, clean airbrush and I'll make a new layer. And let's just paint just a little bit through here. Um, if you wanna get fancy too, you could even use something like, a... sorry about the background sound, that's my HVAC system. <laughs> but I could take like this, this navy kind of blue color, oops. Kind of hit hit the back here so it becomes like a little bit of a background and then now where this light is just make a selection Oops. all right so now we can just erase this like so right and also I'm going to erase oops right where this goggle is I don't have to be super precise because I'm going to play with the opacity a little bit as well um, but it just it just helps give your sketch a bit of um, a bit of contrast with the background here 
So I can take this layer now, two finger tap, and just, just roll that down slightly. So now I have, now I have this little light. Don't you have to raise your drawing hand pinky up in order to be fan? <laughs> yes, this is true. Uh, where can you get free brushes? I don't know. You'll have to look around on the the internet. Um, if you join the, if you become a patron, so if you've enjoyed the stream and you want to support what I'm doing, you can become a patron, and that's a way for you to uh, basically commit to a monthly contribution, monetary contribution, to the channel you know, help support being able to have a Discord server, things like that. Um, but that's patreon.com slash sketch day. If you do that and you're a patron for two months, you get a free brush kit. You also get instant access to all the guides I create. So right now that's a marker guide, an inking guide, and well, I think it's just a marker and inking guide, if I remember correctly. Marker, inking, yeah pen and ink so and soon to be digital sketching guide as well man there's so much i could do with this but i'm gonna i'm gonna wrap it up keep it tight <laughs> also on the wrong layer doing this oh well oh well make this available um, as a procreate psd and jpeg file on the google drive for uh patrons as well so be sure to check out that perk if you haven't at least if you want the original sketches um because with the original at least you can do things like if i go to so if you're if you uh get the procreate file you can actually go time-lapse replay and you'll see a replay of everything I did today. You can scrub through it just by swiping, right? You can kind of see that. And you also get the benefit of having the layer structure and everything else related to that. So just a little, little shout out, a little, little mention there for you. Um, but yeah, thanks for hanging out while we did our first underwater theme sketch so remember we have a discord server that's at sketchaday.com slash discord check it out um i didn't mean to ignore everyone on on any other platform but uh much love shout out to you thanks for watching and tuning in as well um in future if you have any questions you can always message me or you can uh yeah you can message me hit me up in the discord uh, or just hang out in the chat that works too but anyhow check out the discord there's a weekly sketch challenge channel and the challenge this week is underwater that's the theme so it could be underwater animals underwater fashion underwater buildings underwater anything you want to do underwater and today decided to do these goggles so thanks for hanging with me checking this out um i'll be back on wednesday morning um should be around eight or nine pacific um so it'll be early on the west coast but i will be uh i'll be streaming again so pro tip for you you can always go to this url uh sketchaday.com slash videos um it's a good place to start it turns out that youtube does a poor job of uh helping you find content. So check out that link, Andrew, and that should have a list of tons of videos for you to look through um, and get started, whether you wanna learn how to render with markers or digitally and so forth and sketching a lot of different topics. Okay, so I'll be back on Wednesday. Um, if you like this video, thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. 
Let me know what you want to see too in future. Um, and become involved in the community. It's really awesome. I love that everyone can help everyone else. And as I always say, helping someone learn how to draw is one of the best ways to get better at drawing yourself. So sit with someone, break it down, share what you learned, um, try and do it again. That's, that's how I learned. Draw from observation, draw from imagination, and teach others. So take some time to do that. Uh, give back, essentially, right? Pay it forward. And remember, passion is the process. And I'll see you all next time right here on Sketch Today. Shout out again and thanks to the channel members and patrons who make this a lot easier and a lot more manageable for me. So thank you. Thanks, Lions.